welcome to another fine episode of Croft and Tailored's What is on my wrist. I'm your host, Cameron Barr, owner, purveyor of Croft and Tailored here in wonderful Los Angeles, California. Just kidding. Hey guys, it's Cam from Craft and Tailored and this episode of What is on my wrist, we are talking about a 1953 Blanc Pawn 50 Fathoms, AKA the Aqualung, AKA the grandfather of all modern dive watches. Uh, it is a reference 2462 um, and it's an incredible watch. You guys have all been asking for me to do a review on a Blanc Pawn 50 Fathoms. This one has uh, been in the collection for a little while and it's an incredible example. So the vintage Blanc Pond dive watches are becoming increasingly rare as, or, as a result of the collector market holding on to these watches and uh, due to the fact that there's pretty small production numbers of these watches uh, to begin with. Um, the armed forces were early adopters of the Blanc Pond dive watches, uh, including the French and American Navy. Um, so as we're, you know, like early underwater uh, explorers, obviously Jacques Cousteau wore 50 Fathoms and um, this was really one of the first commercially available dive watches uh, that employed, uh, you know, water resistance and was built for uh, scuba diving. So pretty, pretty awesome. Really interesting long case, uh, Bakelite bezel, um, no BS, just 12, three, six and nine on the dial, uh, you know, very bold hands that jump off the dial. Um, and some things that you also will see in like the military issued, you know, like mill subs and mill masters and things like that, uh, kind of a broad arrow sweep seconds hand. Um, and there's a, a lot of different variations. This is a very early uh, variation from, you know, the, I think this one is from 53. The idea for the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms was conceived in 1952 due to members of the French Navy who required a dive watch for their elite team of combat frogmen. Um, and after testing numerous dive watches, uh, French Navy op officers, Captain, you know, Bob uh, Moldebier and Lieutenant Claude Relieu. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, you know, they could not obtain one uh, to fit the requirements and the demands for their elite group of Navy frogmen. So um, they reached out to Blanc Pond with a set of requirements and they worked basically alongside of Blanc Pond to create what is now known as uh, the 50 uh, Fathoms. When the French Navy engaged Blanc Pond, the, the CEO was Jean-Jacques Flechier. Uh, I, I think I'm, don't, I'm really horrible with French, sorry. Uh, but he was a diver himself and he really believed in the project and ultimately uh, was the CEO of Blanc Pond from 1950 to 1980. He kind of took it as like a, a pet project for himself. So um, in any case, uh, you know, that's kind of why we see, uh, you know, this being one of the, one of the first dive watches as you know, some of the other companies were a little bit late to adopt this. Um, so uh, this specific uh, 2462 um, is really rare and also a very fine example of, of the reference. Very small winding crown on, on the watch. Um, it, it's it's really not like, you know, some of the other watches out of, out of this kind of same era, like, uh, you know, the big crown Rolex subs, like very, very small crown. Uh, not really good for operating uh, or adjusting with dive gloves on, you, you definitely would not be able to, to grip that. Um, additionally, the crown kind of sits underneath the bezel. It's kind of tucked underneath the, the bezel. And the other thing that's really interesting is the watch itself is actually not that big. It's a big watch, but you know, the dial is actually pretty small, right? So the dial sits inside this big, big bezel. Um, the bezel is probably my favorite part of the watch. It's Bakelite uh, and the bezels themselves are pretty fragile. You would not want to go play tennis in this watch or go rock climbing um, with this specific example. The, bright, the bezels are really prone to cracking. Um, one of the key spots for cracking is right up here in the diamond. So it was just kind of a weak point. Additionally, these watches are loomed with radium. Matter of fact, my wrist is kind of tingling a little bit. I don't know if that's just me or if it's like the watch. I don't know. Just kidding. Highly caffeinated. A side note. Sorry, Blanc Pond, I love you. Hold on one second. I'm using a Rolex coaster. You see that, Nick? So we really we really stay true to our roots here at Crafton Tailored. Back to the subject matter. Uh, so the dial is very small uh, and it's kind of uh, enclosed by this really big, broad, highly visible bezel, um, which, is, which is really rad. 
incredible design. The, the, the lugs on the watch are really long, so when it's on wrist, um, and this is actually an original Tropic strap, I think this one is probably from the 60s, but would, would have been very similar to one of the ones that you would have actually been able to purchase the watch back on in uh, the early part of the 1950s. What's interesting is the case of the watch is actually pretty long. So the subs are a little bit squattier and more proportionate to, I think, their design. They're more uh, symmetrical. This has like a really long set of lugs. So kind of an interesting watch to wear, but, but comfortable, fun. So the case back is actually two pieces. So it has this outer locking ring, and then it has basically a cap that fits onto the case. So um, kind of an interesting design for a case back. Additionally, um, similar to like an Omega or even maybe like a Milgauss, there is um, basically a cap that goes over the movement that aids in, you know, dust proofing, uh, but also really for like anti-magnetism. So um, in any case, the condition of this watch is really, really fine. Um, these watches were used for a long time for their intended purpose, being diving uh, watches. Um, and, uh, you know, this one is in really, really good condition. Really early serial. Um, I love the, it's kind of almost looks like a, like a little life preserver on the back, but it's Blanc Pond, 50 Fathoms, Aqualung, anti-magnetic, waterproof, shockproof, automatic, really, really interesting watch. In any case, uh, this one actually is for sale. Um, uh, we will provide a link in the description below so that you guys can check this out. Uh, and I think we've written a couple of articles on uh, the 50 Fathoms range. Um, one watch that we reviewed, which I'm really, really uh, into, is the Houdinki um, Special Edition Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms. I thought it kind of was like a nice homage to this type of era of watch, but with an upgraded kind of like feel. Um, so I'll provide a link so that you can check that out as well. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, Really appreciate all the support. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also be sure to check us out on Instagram, okay? I will see you guys in the next one. See you later.